Hey, everyone. So I just discovered a couple new shortcuts that I have actually started using consistently. So I figured I would share those with you today. So the two shortcuts that I want to talk about today have to do with our edit modes. So those are right here at the top left of our edit window, right? So shuffle, slip, spot, and grid. And then our edit tools, which are right here in Pro Tools, right? So the two main, the I'm sorry, the three main ones are going to be our trimmer, our selector, and our grabber tool. So and those together are gonna to be called our smart tool. But I'm not gonna to get too much into these because I believe I have other videos on our edit modes and our edit tools and how those work. So I'll just find those hopefully and put cards up on the screen for them. But basically this is gonna be a really short video because it takes like no time to explain this to you at all. But basically your tilde key, so if you're not familiar with the tilde key, it's the one that's usually above the tab key and it has that like squiggly line. I'll put an image of it up on the screen for you guys. I had to Google it to find out it was called the tilde key. I Googled tilde key, so I guess I had it in my head somewhere, but I had to Google it, so don't feel bad if you're not sure about it. But basically, the tilde key, if you hit that over and over, it just cycles between your different edit modes. So I'm hitting it right now, and you can see how it goes between shuffle, slip, spot, and grid. So I've been using that a lot lately. And you know, you can switch between shuffle, slip, spot, and grid using your F keys, right? So I have to like lean back to see my F keys. But basically it's F1, F2, F3, and F4 are gonna be the different edit modes. And I believe my OS is overriding it since I got this newer computer. So I just hit those and nothing happened. Uh, but if your OS is not overriding your F keys, you can use those. And that's what I used to use. And I've kind of been too lazy, to be honest, to figure out how to get it so that my OS isn't overriding those F keys and I can use it again. But now that I figured out this tilde key thing, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to figure out the F key thing. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay. Anyway, so that's the first one. The second one that I wanted to show you involves our actual edit tools here, right? So we have our zoomer, trimmer, selector, grabber. Uh, we have the scrub tool and the pencil tool, right? So basically, if you hit the escape key, it cycles between those. And it even gets the smart tool, which is kind of cool. So I'm just hitting escape over and over right now and it's just cycling between those edit tools. So same thing here, right? You can access these using the F keys. So it's the next series of F keys in order from left to right. So these are F1, F2, F3, F4, then this is F5, F6, F7, F8, and so on. Right, so it's the same idea. My OS right now is overriding those F keys. So I used to use those a lot, like to, especially to switch between, for example, the grabber and the smart tool or the selector and the smart tool. I would use those a ton because you can just hit any of these two keys. So they're F6, F7, and F8, I believe. And normally, oh, that one's working for me. Oh, oh no, see, chaos, I can't do that. I do not want iTunes, thank you, no thank you. Go away. Okay, so my OS is overriding uh, this one at least. But basically I used to use these keyboard shortcuts all the time and now my OS is overriding it and I've been too lazy to figure it out. And using the escape key has allowed me to do that even more seamlessly. <laughs> so it's enabling my laziness, which might not be a good thing. So that's my new and exciting thing in Pro Tools. So I figured I should share it with you guys. So let me know if you found that helpful in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Apparently over 90% of my viewers are not subscribed and it's a really easy and free way to help support my channel. So I'd really appreciate it. And other than that, I have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash noise and my patrons do get access to additional content. We have a book club on our Discord server that's for patrons only and that's been a ton of fun. We've been chatting with each other on the Discord, helping each other out, talking about our projects. It's really been a ton of fun. We're building a little community, which is kind of what I wanted to do with this whole YouTube thing. So I'm really happy happy about it. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thank you for watching. Okay. So if you do want to use the F keys, you can use them. They're there. Uh, but if you're like me and your OS is overriding it and you're lazy, you can also hit the escape key and toggle between them. What was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. What is this called? Tilda? Oh no, what's it called? I have to Google the name of it because I don't know <laughs> I don't know what's called. Uh key list it. No. 
Is it called a tilde? Tilde? Tilde key? Is that right? What is the what is the tilde key? Oh. Above the tab key. Yeah, the tilde. Tilde key. Okay. It's called the tilde key. Okay. And I have time before my appointment to waste time, which is something I love to do. I'll probably end up editing a podcast, though. So that'll be fun. Okay. Well, 